Marco Kalanovic laying out what a, even a mild recession could mean for the markets. He says it could test levels of about 3,500, 3,600, something we really haven't seen since September. Do you agree with his thesis when it comes to the broader market and also on tech being overbought? So uh, we think that at these levels, the positives outweigh the negatives, right? So if you look at, for example, the inflation data, the CPI and the PPI data, they're pointing towards that the Fed's medicine is finally taking effect and inflation is finally cooling down. And despite tech layoffs, unemployment is at a historic low of 3.5%. And on top of that, you know, we were recently in vacation in Spain and all the airports and the hotels, they were jammed packed. So the revenge spending and things like travel is continuing at a ferocious pace. And we feel that this reduction in lending is going to mean that the Fed is going to be out of the picture sooner. So we feel that at this point, the positive catalysts outweigh the negatives. And as far as tech is concerned, we think the small tech is vulnerable, but we are constructive on the big tech. Okay, I also want to show the audience some data that I got from you related to big bank earnings. So you say the U.S. has the most banks in the world by a wide margin, more than 4,000. U.K. a close second, more than 300, actually. It's a pretty big disparity there. How does that shape your opinion when it comes to big bank earnings later today, and especially the regional banks? We've only seen about half of them report so far. Yeah, so we, we think that the uh, U.S. is overbanked at this level. And, you know, at this stage, we feel that, uh, you know, bigger is the new better. So we feel that the U.S. banking, you know, the U.S. leads the world in the number of banks with over 4,000 banking institutions. And, uh, and a, a close, a distant second is the U.K. with just over uh, 300. So we feel that the banking industry is going to go through a period of cleansing where some of the smaller banks are either going to go out of business or they're going to get taken over by the larger banks. And also there's going to be a deposit shift, in our opinion, from the smaller banks to the larger banks. So we think that this is actually going to be really good for large banks and this industry is going to go through a period of cleansing, which will be favorable for the big banks. All right, we're also getting some new data from Bank of America. Uh, Bank of America saying $363 billion went into money market funds, third highest month of inflows since 1993. What does that signal to you about investor confidence? So investor confidence, um, you know, the, 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 the government bonds are, uh, and the money markets, they're giving high yield right now. So certainly there's a good alternative in place. But at the same time, uh, you know, we feel that uh, if you take a slightly longer term picture, we see more opportunities in the stock market. So, for example, in big tech, we see a lot of opportunities there. Um, the, a lot of the larger technology companies, they've gone through a period of efficiency where they have laid off workers and their businesses are a lot leaner. So eventually, when the market uh, economy does recover, they are in a position to be able to be more profitable. So where fixed income is giving good yield right now, we also see good opportunities in big tech.